What's going on guys? I'm the White Guy. Today we're doing things quite a bit differently here. We're on the Fort Dodge Round 1 Supercross track that comes stock with Reflex. And we are going to be taking a buggy through it. We're going to do some buggy Supercross today is going to be the name of this series. If it becomes a series, let me know in the comments and use likes and dislikes and whatnot if you want to see this done more often in this game or if I should just kill it with fire and put it out of its misery before it gets too far. So, um, yeah, we're just going to be trying to hit some some of the rhythm lines through here with the dune buggy today. Do our best to try and bomb some stuff and get some cooler looking angles here if we go that way. I think that'll work better. Alright, see if we can actually get through this section reasonably well here. We should be able to hit rhythms with the dune buggy, I think. At least I, I was testing this around on some nationals tracks and it worked there. And I, I, as I was thinking about this, it just seemed like the buggy supercross would be a better fitting than buggy nationals or something like that. See, it seemed like this would be a better way to start off this idea and then continue on to like nationals tracks too if you guys are interested. Uh, let me know because I remember a while ago I did like bike versus buggy videos right now. I'd like be racing guy on a dirt bike. But um, I was trying to find somebody to have a dirt bike in this game to race me on right now and nobody was up for it. So we're going to try and get the kind of track here and... See if we can actually like, do this kind of like a short course track, but with the buggy. Um, I know that like, the corners like this where it's like that and the finish line might be a bit of a struggle to clear, but oh no, we actually made it just fine. Look at that. Let's see if we can get some cool shots of the suspension in action there. Oh, look at look at that. And we blew out the berm. All right, uh, we're gonna have to get a, we'll get a second shot coming through here then. But like the buggy, I would use a sport truck, but the buggies just seem to handle bumps and everything a lot better than the trucks do, and they seem to be a lot more capable of hitting rhythms. Uh, you can't quite cut far enough in to be able to hit that hip jump right there though. We can probably double over that and double that and single out. To let off the gas a little bit and under this corner you can hop over that. Hit the triple. No problem whatsoever. And that might be a little bit close to... No, I thought we were going to roll for sure right there. But we actually made it through there into the sand section pretty well. But um, if you're wondering how I do this, this is obviously uh, like every other video I've made this on the PC. And somewhere, there's a there's a file floating around somewhere that will let you uh, put any vehicle you want through a uh, stock track. It unlocks all of the stock tracks for free ride, including like the freestyle tracks and whatnot, which is how, I, how I've gotten dune buggies onto freestyle tracks and that, that, that sort of deal. Uh, it just kind of it, it breaks the game open a little bit to do what you want with, and you can have your own amount of fun instead of being limited to what um, what other people think you should be. But yeah, it's just a fun little track here. It's kind of like back in the old days of like MX vs ATV Unleashed, when you could kind of just literally take the monster truck through supercross tracks and like every, like an Unleashed, every single track had a free ride version. There's this you can do free rides, but I'm pretty sure. Oh, oh, I thought I'd get reset for doing this. I thought for sure I'd get reset for doing this. Can I actually like just Huh. I, I remember doing this in the past and I thought I thought it reset me, but yeah, this is kind of like Unleashed where every track is a free ride, you can kind of just do what you want, and you can, unless it involves running a person over, because I don't think you can actually hit them. Oh, there it goes. Now it's not happy. Uh, you can't run people over, because they all, they all just run out of the way at Mach 4, but you can apparently go anywhere you want. No, I thought didn't realize that was the thing. I thought it reset you for cutting tracks still, but nope. And so it is just like the days of Unleashed where... You can just kind of have a free ride track to go about as you please and, yeah, not not be limited to your vehicle choice to race Supercross, which is kind of fun. Right, there's a lap right there. It seems we can actually get, like, a fast lap through here. Like, yeah, I want to kind of get this, look at that shot through the whips, though. Like, it's, I just like seeing all the suspension and stuff move. It's pretty, in my head, it's pretty neat. I right, can back up and get us some more gas right here to get around that corner. Bump on over. Yeah, see, so this is handling the bumps pretty well. Like, the sport truck is going to, I'll try that in a minute. That's just going to be all over the place. Nah, I'll, I'll do that just to prove my point there. Let's get around there. There we go. And uh, let me know if you guys, uh, what do you guys plan on doing? Uh, you guys plan on MXGP3? Cause I'm, I'm assuming by the, at the time that this video is being uploaded, I'm assuming MXGP3 has come out on PC. And if you are, you are going to play that on PC, uh, you can try and uh, leave, leave a comment with your Steam name and then send me a friend request on Steam. And I'll try and add you if you're going to be playing MXGP3 because um, I'm... I, I'm gonna hedge my bets on saying I probably will have picked up a copy by the time this video is uploaded. I, small chance I might not have, but I, I'd be I'd be willing to bet about a dollar on the fact that I probably picked up a game, copy the game. It just depends though if, it, if it's gonna be a full 60 dollars game. It depends on how much money I have in my bank, and I, yeah, you know, 
real life's expensive, but anyway, oh, hey, we actually cleared that nicely. All right, that was a pretty good lap with the buggy here. So now just uh, for anybody that's going to ask to see like a Sport 2 truck or something, or the Sport, the Sport trucks are just not going to clear this on you. This is all, they're just too slow. But if we pop this guy out here and rip, oh, it's already turned to the acceleration. Would you look at that. Like if we get through the whoops here, this is going to handle pretty atrociously at you. Oh, huh. Guess I was wrong. All right, maybe maybe I am wrong. Maybe this is, you're unable to hit these rhythms in the truck. Nope, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Just as atrocious as ever. Yeah, the buggies handle a lot. The trucks might be faster, but the buggies handle a lot better than the trucks do. All right, let's get through there. On the gas, you can tap over, hit the triple. Nicely done. Cut left, cut left, cut left. Yes. Uh, oh, hey, this is. Oh no, never mind. Not work. Not working at all. Never mind. I was wrong. All right. Let's, get, let's try. Let's want to just want to get through here. Just do one. Oh no. See, that's that's what I mean. Like the buggies don't really get bumped up nearly as much as that just did. Where it just started doing an endo really hard. All right. Let's get through that. And we will we can try UTV out after this. But this is mainly going to be like a. Uh, buggy supercross series as the title of the video i'm willing to bet says let's get through this corner thank you i could try the utvs but again those, those utvs are just they're so slow they're just they can't really do anything in this game but they're like the one vehicle in the game that's actually four-wheel drive but i i'd assume they're not that slow in real life because the, uh, like there's some 1600 cc turbos like the, those like 1600 and like they have, the motorcycle engines can make a lot of power like some of those bikes can push three or four hundred horsepower out of like a one uh, one point six liter or something, and if they're putting that into a side by side, I'd imagine they can they get a decent amount of power out of those. But I could be wrong. I know nothing about side by sides, but I do know that in this game they are just absolutely terrible. It's just so slow. Like we're gonna look at this. We're not even gonna be able to clear that jump or that one or this one or that one. This is pretty much how the UTV... I don't even know why they even bothered putting these things in the game. They're just... they're so useless. They just bump off... they're so slow. I guess they're four-wheel drive, I guess, which is neat, but they, we... I bet we're not... are we even gonna make the double? Okay, we, 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 hit, we made the double at least, so that's one thing going for it. But this is... like every other game... every other, like, the cars are all rear-wheel drive, except for this, because if we get into the air here, hit the brakes, you can see the wheels start to spin before they hit the ground again, which would mean it's four-wheel drive. I, I would assume it's on open differentials, but I, I, I don't I don't know how they coded the game to work. I, I would assume it's all open diff though. Let's see if we, Oh hey, we look at, you look at that, we actually made it through a section. And again, very slow through that corner. Hey, we actually cleared the tabletop. We're gonna be able to clear double. Hey, we cleared a double, nice. It's a pleasant surprise. Let's go this way now. Yeah, there's a bike and a lot of articulation and suspension, which is kinda neat. He's got to be able to get through the track here, and again, not going to clear that. Probably not. Nope, not going to clear that. Are we going to clear this double? Yes, we did. Oh, that's not supposed to be a double. It's more of like breaking bumps. Didn't. Oh, oh, we cleared the double. All right. We're going to bet we're not going to be making it over. No, no. Over the tough blocks, even. Uh, no, we're not going to be jumping that. Are we even going to be able to pick up a double off of this? No. And there's no way we're clearing the finish line jump. That's just, that's just hopeless. And then for anybody else also asking why I'm not using this, we'll try the regular sport trucks. They're just so they're so tiny. Their their tires are like pizza cutters. They're so cute. But let's uh let's try and do a lap here on the small sport trucks and see why these don't work out. So we're gonna go that way. Try and cut through there. Hop over and then case it. And then case it. And then case it. And then hit some tough blocks and then case it. And there, eh, we actually hit the double there, all right, all right. No way, I seriously did not bet on making this triple happen. Probably not, nope, casing it pretty hard. Right on the knuckle, nice. Not gonna, oh no, we actually cleared that double. Not gonna make that double. Not gonna make the step on. Not gonna make that double either, apparently. And we're gonna just bump through the sand whoops right here. This should be fine through that. Not gonna make. Ah, uh, no, we can make the first double if we take the higher line. Not gonna make that. Not gonna hit the step on. And then there's no way we're gonna clear the jump out of the corner. I'd be willing to bet. Nope, not gonna happen. Uh, we did clear that though. Yeah, but this is this is why I tend to not really. These sport one trucks aren't even worth using. They're just they're just too slow. There's there's I don't see any reason to have them in here. Other than they're, they're smaller, but they don't really. They don't have any more power, they don't really go anywhere faster, and there's, there's, they just don't clear any of the jumps. 
But um, yeah, we're gonna pop back in the buggy here for a second to finish out the lap. If we can grab one, but there we go. All right, and hop over that. There we go. But that's gonna about do it for this video, guys. If you would like to see some more like buggy supercross and future videos, we'll just be only the buggy because they can actually clear it. Let me know, or if you want to see the buggy on national tracks, that kind of deal. Let me know because I'm just I'm looking for more stuff to do in Reflex. Right now, hopefully you enjoyed this. If you'd like to see some more just random bashing around with the buggy, let me know. I can do freestyle tracks too. Anything. So, uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoy this. Catch you guys in another video. See ya.